CPW fans, once again, it is entirely your pleasure to hear from, in my mind, your junior heavyweight champion, Chris Wild. Now you probably think after watching the last show that I'm going to come out here and I'm going to whine and I'm going to bitch and I'm going to complain about the way I've been treated around here recently. You might even think that I'm going to go on and on and on about being put in a ring with a lunatic named Crazy Shay, who I actually carried for most of my career. I'm not going to go on and on about how he's a loser, how he cheated, and how out of the blue I'm put in a ladder match for my junior heavyweight championship. <laughs> Well, I thought things got a little bit better because as I was in LA, on my cell phone, talking to Paris Hilton, I get a ring, pick up the other phone that I have, and I realize it's the owner of ACPW telling me, hey, Chris, you got your rematch. You got your rematch for the title. So after going to a couple parties and coming back here to Philly, as I come to the gym, I realize rematch and a piece of cake. Title's mine until I find out it's going to be a title on a pole match. Are you kidding me? I'm a professional wrestler. Dusty Rhodes, Ric Flair, those guys were professional wrestlers, not stuntmen, not guys that jump off poles, beat each other up with ladders. That's not what it's about. This isn't a promo. This is real. Figure out all the crazy flipping flying high spots you're going to do, because at the end of the day, I'm going to have my junior heavyweight championship back around my beautiful waist. You might think I'm conceited. I'm not conceited. Hey, I'm way beyond confident. The fact of the matter is, I'm convinced. Get this camera on my face. Welcome everybody to another amazing ACPW home video release. I'm Rich Steve, along with A.B. Monroe and Chris. How's everybody doing tonight? Wow, one little in and so should you. Steve, try breathing, man. Anyway, here we go. This first match is going to be a tag team match. The team of Detox and the ACPW TV champion, Donnie Allen. This, I don't even know who their opponents are yet, but that, that seems a great team, don't you think? Yeah, we have Donnie Allen, a great guy, great wrestler, good groundsman. We have Detox. He does a lot of high flying moves. I think this sloppy crap, as you like to call it. Yeah. Like aerial technician. Yeah, with Donnie Detox, this should be a well rounded team. Donnie last month beat Aramis and CJ Doyle in a triple threat match. That was just, it was an amazing upset, I would say. Team Aramis. Aramis. Once and again. CJ O'Doyle last month fought each other and Donnie Allen in a triple threat match. Tried the strategy of teaming up, but there was dissension in the ranks from early on and it both fell it just fell apart for both of them. Yeah, Donnie but they're Allen back again in this show. Do you think uh, it can last for the length of this match? I do not know, but it, these two better hope it does because if not, if they just let Donnie Allen or Detox for a second get the upper hand, it could end very quickly. Team Aramis looks like a well-rounded team too. We have we have CJ, a veteran in the business. He hasn't been around as long as Donnie, but CJ's been in a, been around for quite a few years now. I'm personally a very big fan of CJ. Though I think he's one of the best wrestlers on the East Coast, and I think there's no. No doubt in my mind that one day he could be a serious, in serious contention for the team. But you're laughing at him. It's like, what? I'm sorry. It's it's just kind of funny. It's, it just is. What? The, it's funny that a team like uh, Donnie Allen Detox is going to beat uh, Team Aramis? No, it's actually funny the look that A.B. Monroe is giving Aramis right now. What are you thinking, huh? I'm thinking, what did I do to deserve this? Why am I here? Why? Why am I sitting next to you? Now these four men are trying to decide who's going to start the match off. And there's the bell. It appears who's going to start it. It looks like Detox is going to go out, and it looks like... Uh, mm. See, already it looks like there might be some dissension in Team Aramis because they can't even decide who's going to start the match. 
Don Hell, let's just start. It's off warm. Just go at it right now. Donnie ready to fight as always. And CJ. Scaring Aramis? Very. Rawr! Uh. <laughs> and Donnie Allen pulling out a mirror and scaring CJ Montoya with his own face. <laughs> that, that's a good one. I wonder if they taught him that in the ECW. Now, Donnie Allen was in the original ECW. You mean he was a jobber in the original ECW. God. And it looks like it's going to be Aramis and Detox, Detox starting this match off. After about 10 minutes, finally starting circling each other. I've heard through the grapevine these two had great matches up and down the East Coast. That does not surprise me. Aramis, when he can keep his cool and keep his head in the game, has shown me some amazing stuff. And Detox, like we said earlier, is just an amazing aerialist. And from the lockup, bring him into a headlock. Aramis getting worn down very quickly. What a takeover by Detox. Roll up, one, two. Oh, and bring it back into the headlock. AB, can you give some insight into why Detox is doing this? No. Another headlock. Uh, what a reversal. Hard bar. <laughs> Detox getting that arm wrench right there. Oh my oh. god! Oh! That was some of the aerial techniques that you were talking about earlier, Steve? Yes, it was. That is the type of stuff that Detox does, and he just pulls it from out of nowhere. Oh, what a boot to the head! I'm really thinking Detox could probably do well in our uh, junior division. I, I think he could be in serious contention for Crazy Shay's junior heavyweight title. He, he's just, he's an amazing wrestler. Oh my gosh. And once again, Going for a kick, but, oh, Donnie Allen hitting both of them. CJ now in the match. Headlock by Donnie Allen. Donnie wrenching it in. Oh, and a takeover by Donnie Allen working that head. Young still having that headlock applied. It's a great technique, shooting him off the ropes. Oh, and shoulder tackle. Donnie, once again, going to a head. It's a very smart strategy. By doing this, he's wearing down CJ's head and neck region, where Donnie Allen may be able to apply that choke slam that he likes to do so much, and just tiring CJ O'Doyle out early. Oh, and CJ pulling the hair. Roll up. Oh, and a kick out too by Donnie Allen. Still having that headlock. Wrenching it. CJ may be the bigger man here, but it looks like Donnie's complete control. Aramis coming in. Oh my God, and Donnie with a takeover on CJ O'Doyle and a head scissors on Aramis. What an amazing move. Detox coming in the ring. Aramis, CJ on the outside. The ref holding him back, so Donnie can't go out there. What's Detox thinking? Oh, oh my, my god! god! What a springboard! Oh my god! Oh my god! On the outside! What a cross body! showing their love to Detox. Whoa. 
CJ pleading with Donnie out. Oh my God. Detox still working over Aramis. CJ not really realizing uh, Aramis is caught in the corner. Now he finally does. Go for that big choke slam, Donnie Allen. Up and CJ goes down. And that is where working the head comes into play. Two, oh, and Aramis breaking it up the pin. Aramis grabbing Donnie, keeping in the corner, a bunch of punches to the head. Oh, and throws him into the corner. Donnie's down on the mat. Oh my God, look at that. Donnie Allen taken down by Aramis. And a kick out. Throw him into his own corner. CJ. Coming in. He's choking him right there. Breaking the count. Whip. Oh, and a boot to the head. Tagging in detox. Oh, and a big back elbow by CJ O'Doyle. CJ picking up detox. Working him back. Tags in Aramis. Oh, and Aramis taking detox. Irish whip. Oh my God, what a spine buster. Oh, and a kick out at two by Detox. That was a ferocious spine buster by Aramis right there. Irish whip. Oh! Wow. Detox worked right into those legs. CJ Doyle. Both men working detox. Here comes Donnie Allen. And the referee holds him back. This gives them a, an opportunity to choke detox. Now it's CJ and detox. Snapmare. Oh, he's breaking the eyes right there. That's not cool. Breaks the hole. Lately, it seems like Team Aramis might be actually coming together and are starting to take control of this match. What do you think, AB? Oh, absolutely, Steve. I agree. Donnie getting knocked off the apron. Aramis coming in. Oh, and a punch to the gut. Team Aramis just working, working detox over very badly right now. Oh, and grinding those eyes across the top rope. That hurts a lot, folks. Just imagine what, what rug burn feels like on your arm. Imagine that on your eye. Wow. Picking him up. Both men working detox off the rope. Oh, and a double back elbow. Go for the pin. One, two. Oh, and detox kicks out at two. CJ Doyle picking him up. CJ and Aramis seem to be working like a well-oiled machine right now. I, I would definitely agree with you holding him there, just letting the blood rush to the head of Detox. The crowd appreciating, that's, that's strength right there, folks. Oh my God, what a suplex. Oh, and a two count. I thought it might be over for sure right there. CJ picking up Detox. Oh, working him into the corner. Another punch to the head. Irish whip. Reversal. Detox. Oh, my, oh my God! God! Do you always have to do that at the same time? No! Wow, you just missed all that! That was amazing! Oh my god! Complete stunning here! That was like a it was like a Pele kick, 
but he just launched himself off of seat. I, I, that's undescribable, folks. That is the type of stuff that makes a champion right there. And I guarantee you, Detox will one day be a champion in ACPW. But Aram is cutting Detox off before he can even make the tag. Oh, what a punch. Knocking Detox off his feet. Aram is picking up Detox. Irish whip. Oh my god! That was an amazing move right there. Oh, Finally tagging, tagging Donnie. 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 Close line. Picking up Aramis. Body slam. Body slam on CJ. Picks up Aramis. Shoots him off the rope. Back elbow. Working over Donnie. Or uh, CJ kicking. And look at that snap suplex. That was amazing right there, folks. That was executed perfectly by Donnie Allen. Yeah, see, Donnie being a vet in the match is really taking in charge. And you have to remember, folks, earlier, Donnie did work the neck and head of CJ O'Doyle. So that is just making it even harder for CJ. Because this match has been going on for quite some time now. One, two, three, four, five, six. And a whole 10 count on the head. And Detox getting a flurry of his own over in the corner on Aramis. Donnie has Aramis. CJ still in the corner. Oh, kick. Ramming the heads of their opponents together. Detox and Donnie Allen. What a great team they are. are. AB, are you okay over there? Detox going for Donnie's double choke slam. Reversed. But uh-oh, don't forget about Donnie Allen. Oh. Look at the strength. Oh my God, he slam. hits it. He hits it. Donnie Allen hits it. Go for the pin on CJ O'Doyle. Two. Oh, and Aram is kicking him out. Oh my God, folks. The That's referee the is race. knocked out. He coming in again. Aram is has detox. Working him into the rope. Irish whip. Oh my God, what is this? Oh my God, detox into a DDT. Donnie in the corner, Aramis trying on detox and a drop kick. Wow, what a drop kick there. Playing it squarely on the chain. Going for the pin, one, two, and CJ O'Doyle grabs the ropes. That is smart ring presence. You said earlier CJ O'Doyle is a vet in the business. That shows it right there. He knows where he is in the ring at all times. Kicking Donnie Allen, detox on Aramis. CJ working him into rope, Irish whip. Going for a roll up, one, two. Oh, and Aramis breaking the pin. Rolling over CJ. Two, detox, roll over Donnie. One, two, Aramis, detox. What's going to happen here, folks? Uh, Donnie out with the pin. Aramis once again. Two, detox once again. Oh my God, why Aramis one more time? Folks, this is crazy. This is like the seventh time. Donnie Allen, CJ O'Doyle. One, two, Donnie rolling through again. Aramis trying to get it. One, Donnie comes out of time and all men are down right there after that. That was just crazy, folks. That was hard to keep up with. I hope I did a good job for you. I'm completely lost, Steve. Aramis, CJ working on Detox. Aramis working on Donnie. Detox thrown to the outside by CJ O'Doyle. Both men have Donnie Allen. Irish whip coming back in. Both men drop, kick to Aramis, roll up. Small One, package. Two, One, two, three, and Donnie, Donnie Allen wins victory. It. Donnie Allen and Detox with a huge victory over Aramis and CJ O'Doyle. And CJ can't believe it. What? Did she just say the winner of the match, Aramis? And CJ? Is she watching the same match we are? Folks, Donnie Allen clearly with a schoolboy pin there. That is a win. There you go. And Detox and Donnie Allen getting what is rightfully theirs. And CJ wants Donnie Allen back in the ring. He's challenging Donnie Allen right now. They went head to head last one for the TV title. They're going for it again. Ooh. Donnie. One. And a sunset flip. Quick one, two, three on 
CJ O'Doyle, Donnie Allen. He might be just an old ECW jobber. But, but he's he, still a vet. He knows where he is in the ring. And he is the ACPW TV champion. And him and Detox just pulled an amazing victory out of their pockets. I don't see this feud ending between CJ and Donnie anytime soon. But I may see the end of the of Tumorous. Have you ever heard of this Rex Titus? No, I haven't, but I'm, I'm expecting something big. I mean, he is from New Jersey, so that means he's got to be a good wrestler. How much does he weigh in? 200 what? I don't know. I really wasn't paying attention. Yeah. And his delayed entrance. I told you. A.B. He's still not out. And it's still waiting. Let's go grab a Snickers. Mm, Snickers. Hungry? Why wait? And here he is. Rex Titus, he... He's really not that impressive. He thinks he's funny by taunting the crowd like that, but nobody even cares. If I was him, I'd put a shirt on. You're much better looking than him, maybe. I know, I know. I thank you for that, Steve. I still, I still hate you. Don't deny it. Last month. And. Arkham making his way to the ring right now. Yeah, Shannon, next time, turn the mic on. It's okay. I forgive her. Chris Jericho? I mean, Chris Arkham making his way to the ring right now. This, this guy, he's pretty impressive looking. Looks like he's going to give... Singer, a songwriter. Steroid popper. Didn't he get kicked off of singing with the stars last week? Wasn't he singing with... Uh, who was he singing with? I'm trying to think about that. He sang with uh, Liam Walmack and Peter Frampton. Oh, wait. That was Chris Jericho. I'm sorry. Hey, is this the dude in Fozzie? No, no, no. Oh, no. no that's no. Chris Jericho. Yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, I think, didn't he win the ECW title? Oh, wait, that's Rhino. Gosh. Kind of looked like him just a little. I was, I thought he dyed his hair. Lock, going for a lockup. <coughs> Titus taking advantage. Taking control right now. Powering his way out of it. Arkham, I haven't really seen him too much, but he he looks like he could be a pretty pretty decent. Look at the way he's just manhandling Titus right now, and just the difference in size. the The height difference isn't much, but Chris Arkham just looks so much bigger. You see, look at his arms. That's all you can see. You can't see anything but his arms. I wonder why, Steve. Gemini Trojans. They must be friends. Nah, 
Chris Arkham is a great guy. I was talking to him before the match, and he, he, oh, here we go. I mean, he can actually, like, get out coherent Woo! words. Sorry, I wasn't paying yeah. attention. He, like, this dude can actually get out coherent and words. It's not like caveman grunts and stuff. Uh, no, oh. I, oh, my God. Arkham. Woo! Oh, I slap you. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. What a hip, hip toss. toss. No, you shut up. Don't talk to the crowd like that. These paying, amazing, adoring ACPW wrestling fans. Nobody cares. No, okay. no, nah, not at all. Rex Titus on the outside, coming back in. Arkham taunting him. Making his way in slowly. Pushing the referee. Working the arm. Oh. Oh, wow. Kicking the legs out from underneath. Rex trying to kick out. Oh, my gosh. He's just bar busting that shoulder right there. Not only does he have that arm bar in, but he also started punching it. That's that's just crazy. In the corner, Rex breaks the count. Oh, and what a low blow. He'll be singing higher in the shower tomorrow. Irish whip into the corner. Oh my God. Rex going for cover. Two. Two count only. Arkham getting up. Oh, and brought right down by Rex Titus. Oh my god, what a boot to the back. Got him in a camel clutch right now. Arkham getting out of it. And he's got the ropes. Titus bringing it. Oh my god. Arkham down. Titus has pretty much dominated this match, it seems like. But I don't know. I wouldn't count Arkham out yet. Getting up slowly. Titus. Oh, my God. Bringing him down with a big arm to the back. Going for a suplex. Oh, my gosh. What a great suplex. AB, you have a very perplexed look on your face. Is there something you're thinking about? One, two. Oh, and a kick out. No, I'm just, my mind's starting to wander because th this match is so exciting. I've seen a better fight on a playground driving here. Look at this submission hold he has him in right now. Both legs over. Arkham looks like he's in pain. Is he going to tap out? Titus seems to have complete control over this match. Yes, he really has. Titus has just dominated. For, for a little, it looked like Arkham may be in control, but now Titus just submission after submission, and it, it's not even good. Arkham down, Titus pulling him up. <coughs> Drop it! Oh my god! He took his head off! Oh my god! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay? Go for the pin. One, two, kick out of two! Oh my god, this is crazy. What an amazing ACPW match we have right here for you today. Arkham, Irish whipped, oh, and a big forearm, hey, he's choking him, and he breaks it at four, Arkham still in the corner, Rex Titus has the arm, Irish whip, Oh my god. Arkham, Arkham finally take taking control. What I was going to say. Arkham. Irish whip. Reversal. Oh my god. And that didn't last too long. Arkham with the big elbow. And a cocky Chris Jericho style pin. I thought the other guy was Jericho. Yeah, me too. What's going oh, on? Oh no here? way, I guess that's Edge. Nope, nope, Chris Arkham still. <laughs> Arkham backed into the rope. Irish whip. Duck. Another duck. Reverse it. 
Oh, it's Spine Buster! Both seemed, are down. Yeah, it seemed to take a lot out of Chris Arkham. But that flurry may have just been enough because look at the pain that Rex Titus looks like he's in right now. Yeah, but Chris Arkham hasn't even got off the ground yet. Starting to come to both men. Titus is up. Titus picking up Arkham. Reversal, punch, working him back to the rope. Irish whip. Oh my God, what an elbow. Scoop slam, puts him down. Looks like Chris Arkham got a second win. What a clothesline. This match makes me want to break win, Chris. Oh, and a kick out of two. Arkham getting up. What is it going to take to put away Rex Titus? I don't know, folks. Going up top. Reverse, oh my God, his head just went right into that turnbuckle. Oh my God, what a clothesline. Bringing him out, off the rope. Another clothesline. Arkham's down. Titus getting up, going for the pin. One, two, kick it out, two. And Titus can't believe it. He should be taking advantage of this right now, not complaining to the referee that's giving Arkham time to come to. Arkham getting up, hooking both arms. Arkham looks like he's starting to power out of it. And that's what it comes to. The arm strength, the upper body strength. What a reversal. Oh my God! He's got it locked in. And he, oh. he taps out! Rex Titus tapped out Chris this Arkham! like a complete steal from Chris Arkham. That was an amazing move and what, what a match right there. Chris Arkham, after being dominated for most of the match, just came out with a huge upset there in my eyes. And the crowd showing love to Arthur. Hunter coming down to the ring right now. This man is just the epitome of perfection. Just looking at him, it, it's amazing. Look at him. He's a, he's a hell of a wrestler, I have to say so. Just look at that body and he's, he's complete. Complete Pete. Wow, and the fans sure do love him. That's That's the best part. Even that little girl in the front row, yeah, she's like, wow, look, complete Pete. I'll tell you what there, Steve. He looks like a complete dork to me. So do you. Shut up, Steve. His opponent tonight just, should we let Shannon... Breaker Moran, he's a pretty decent wrestler. Yeah, but why is he with Pool Shark? That nobody wants to be with Pool Shark. Yeah, because Pool Shark isn't as great as the future of pro wrestling, Rich Steve. You know that, right? Nobody knows that, Steve. Apparent. Nah, I'm not even getting into that. Once again, the the trend these days is to have the delayed entrance where you let your music play to the right part. You know. That's completely retarded. Yes, it is. I'm completely bored out of my mind. And the match hasn't even started yet. Breaker Morant. He's just He's a pretty big he's a pretty big man. Didn't know he was that big. He's quite a physical specimen himself, it looks like. You trying to tell us something there, Steve? 
No, but look at that bald spot on I the pool side. I completely want to sit next to someone else. Steve, get away. Don't touch me, Steve. And look at those people in the front row. Complete Pete. Yeah, I think they have like four teeth between all of them. Yeah, seriously. Frank Morant not getting any reaction with the crowd. They hate him. I hate him. And I hate you, Steve. I love you, though. Too bad. Last show you said you loved me. Well, you slipped me a roofy colada. What do you want? As Pete Hunter gets the crowd wild up behind him, everybody seems to forget breakers in the ring. How can you forget a man like Breaker? He is just huge. Put your leg Not down. Not the reaction he wanted. Complete Pete, once again, just, the crowd just loves him. Locking up. Breaker getting the advantage, driving Complete Pete into the corner. Steve, can you say Complete Pete like three times fast? Complete Pete, Complete Pete, Complete Pete. And as Pool Shark circles the outside. Complete Pete. Breaker working the back. In the corner. Complete Pete down to one knee. Breaker, whip, reversal. Into the corner. Oh, and a big boot to the face. Oh, what a power slam. One, two. Oh, and a kick out of two. Breaker going to the outside. What did that referee go to L1 or something? He can't count to three. Look at that. Pool Shark telling his client what to do, trying to get him back into this match a little bit. Yeah, but it's obviously with telepathy because he's not moving his mouth. The crowd is completely behind Complete Pete. Completely behind Complete Pete. Just, I just love saying complete, I think. Complete. It's, it's catchy. Oh, nice hug. Like I said before, I'm completely bored out, out of my mind. Break the count. Oh, and now the count starts. P.O. and a punch. Another. Bring him in the hard way. Oh, that's got to hurt Breaker. Pete. Irish whip. Oh, and a big elbow. Once again, sending Breaker off the rope. Oh, and another elbow, almost like a shoulder tackle, flying shoulder tackle, amazing. And look at him taunting Breaker. Oh, what a knee lift. Complete Pete pancaking Breaker Morant through a knee lift, and that was just, that was amazing. That was completely amazing. Pete Hunter traveling after Breaker. Uh, he grabs Pool Shark out of the way. Outside right now, putting him back into the ring. Pete getting in. Breaker in the corner. Punch going up to second rope. Here comes the count 10. Two, three, four, five. Oh, oh. a low blow by Breaker Morant. Oh, complete Pete's a little incomplete at the moment. Breaker taunting the crowd. Oh, and a kick to the back. It's really putting the boost to him right now. Oh. Bring him to his feet. Oh, my God. Complete Pete down. Breaker going up top. So on the second rope. Oh my gosh, what a leg drop. One, two. Oh, and a kick out of two by Complete Pete. Breaker visually upset. Look at that. Pool Shark still circling the ring. Oh, and that's a choke, Raph. Come on. Breaker breaking the count at four. Oh, and Pool Shark, look at that. That is something that you do, people. You just distract the referee enough for your manager to take advantage of the situation. That was 
That was a smart card played by the pool shark. Brinker going for the pin. Oh, and a kick out of two by Complete Pete. Oh, he better watch himself. He might get himself disqualified if he keeps this up. Breaker. Complete Pete on his knees. Breaker picking him up. Oh, and a reversal. Complete Pete taking the upper hand. Oh, but Breaker could quickly ends that run by Complete Pete. That was a short flurry. He <coughs> didn't seem to do much damage. And once again, allowing the pool shark to use that, that, that. Pool cue. That, yes, that billiards cue and just choking him. Billiards, is that too big of a word for you, Adam? Shut up, Steve. Oh my God! Breaker, what, that was an amazing move. Calling for the pool shark. Complete Pete starting to come too. What's he gonna do? He's got that billiards cube. Gee, I wonder what's gonna happen here. Pool Shark holding Complete Pete. Oh God, somebody stop this. Oh my God! He hit his own manager! Complete Pete! Wow, I didn't see breaker. that one coming. Breaker doesn't even realize it. A kick to the gut. Picking him up. Reversal. Small package. He's grabbing One, the tights. Two. Three. And he held the rope and the tights for leverage. Whatever. Breaker Moran with the huge, huge victory over the complete Pete. Even if he did cheat to get there. Yeah, I'm completely thrilled. Breaker Moran just celebrating. Complete Pete knows he got screwed. The pool shark and Breaker don't even care. The crowd giving the right ovation they should to Complete Pete. He's hell of a worker. Good job. And you know, people always ask us, Crash Crew, why do you act the way you act and why do you do the things you do? What they don't understand, Crash Crew is not just a tag team. It's a way of life. It's how we are. We live fast. We drink hard. We fight dirty as hell. <laughs> We're anti-government. We're anti-everything. But you're bringing these guys in. You got these, who is it? The Gemini Trojans. And I believe it's Steve the Teacher and Big Slam. Now they're trying to stack it against us. And we know what they're doing. We've been at the bottom of the heap our whole lives digging to the top. And it's the same shit over and over. So they want a piece of the crash crew. We'll give them all they got. Go ahead, brother. Tonight, we're going to show you why we dominated everywhere we've been. We've dominated PWU. We've dominated ACPW. We're going to dominate the Trojans. We're going to dominate these other unknown people we were tonight. Doesn't matter who it is. GWA. We've been kicked out of WPW for the violence that we committed. CZW too scared to give us a goddamn call. But they bitches anyway, so I really don't care. But Crash Crew's here at ACPW. We are the tag team champions. My brother Kwame by my side, we never, ever have nothing to worry about. And that's just the bottom line. That's how we roll. That's it. You get the hell out of here. Championship belt, folks. Dude, he's well articulated. He's a nice guy. And the Gemini Trojans, Josh and Jeremy, these are two young but amazing.
wrestlers, and I'm, I'm pretty big Gemini Trojan fans. Last month, they lost to the team of Trent Asa and Devin Moore, but I think they're going to be out for revenge. Yeah, la last uh, last show, they were, you know, kind of big to Devin Moore and Trent Asa, but, you know... Well, it's a different weight class, different uh, body type, whatever you want to call that, Steve. Look at them, though. They are physical specimens. Jacked. They are big. They're they're huge. But when you compare them to people like our tag team champions, Crash Crew, they're going to look minuscule in size. It's putting a fly against, like, a cat. Exactly. Would you like to elaborate on that? See, well, but they have an advantage uh, hold on, right hold here. On, hold on. They're Nothing. twins. Nothing. Oh. And now making their Six, way to the ring. 600, listen to that Your weight, 640 pounds. That, that weighs as much as a car, a small car. That's like what, a half a ton? Half a ton? There's Matt Stryker and Big Van Vader. Wait who? A minute. Who? That's, who? That's not, no, who? That's not Big Van Vader, that's Big Sam. But I do believe that's Matt Stryker with the T. No, 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 no that's no. Steve the T. Steve the no, teacher. yes. I'm sorry, folks. Steve the teacher. And some other guy, Big Slam. Big Slam. Against the Trojans, who, like I said, are big guys. You guys said big guys. Yeah, but, okay. Now we have big, big Slam, who's bigger than both the Trojans there you go, together. There you go. Steve, this is the fly and the cat. Look at Steve the teacher. He's the fly. Big Slam, he's the cat. You don't put two people like that together, which is good if they're tag teams. Am I right? It is. That's a good tag team. And then you have to take into account. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. That's, that's like another half a ton. These are the two most dominant men in ACPW. They have been ACPW, we're talking in wrestling in general. They have been whooping butt, what, all last year? For the past 13 years. I'm yeah, at ACPW, Steve. ACPW. They've been whooping butt singly. They came together. And now look at them. They're dominating like the other Chris just said. And it's amazing. It just is. What do you what do you what do you think? What do you think? I think that when you're going to take the two teams that are in the ring already, the Gemini Trojans, a team who unfortunately did lose last month, but they're big guys. Yeah, they are. But and, they still lost with. And as a tag team, because of being brothers, they know a lot. Yeah, they, they know each they, other. They can pull off the switch, the famous switch. But see, they, we don't know Big Slam or Steve the Teacher. The thing is, though. With the Gemini Trojans, it, it's evident in teams such as the Basham Brothers. What they can do is the one can be in the ring, he can get beat on for a while, he can be winded, he can be hurt. All it takes is a slight distraction. Big Slam was just messing with Gemini right there. All it's going to take is a slight distraction with two other I, teams. Actually, three. I think this is this is a first. There's somebody bigger than Gemini and Kwame in the ring with all, Big Slam. Yeah, all it's it's true. It's a slight distraction of the referee and the other member of the Trojans can come in and switch himself and nobody would know the difference. Well actually if you look at the back of their leg down the bottom of the calf there's a tattoo on one of them so you can tell them apart. I do not believe that yeah, our but referees in a quick, can notice that. And, yeah, if in a quick I notice, the cameraman noticed that like I said I see all I know all I can pick that out but the in ref a quick, can pick that in out. In a quick glance nobody's going to tell them apart. That is true. That is very true. Because they do this thing where they get thrown against the ropes and they flip out and the other guy pops in. That's a nice move. Have you ever seen that? You remember that, Steve? And it's going. Uh, here we go. Way. They immediately attack oh. the crash crew. Watch for that move that I was saying. That's See, a this move. is smart. Everybody gang up on the crash crew, try to bring them down. Well, they're the champions. I do not know if it's. Don't you want to beat the champion, about. Steve? It is, but also you have to take into account big slam. Well, I mean, like, big whoa. Slam. But look at that. that all that's a first right there. I've never together. seen Kwame go down so fast. And Kwame's a big man. Oh, oh, Steve, look oh, at that. Whoa. Oh. He's big knocking big down slam. Gemini. He's knocking. And that is what I said. Big they Slam. Is that straight for Big Slam? Because if yep. he's taking down the crash crew, imagine what he's going to do to the Gemini Trojans. I mean, Kwame's a big guy, yeah, muscular wise. The best part about this is you let Big Slam take out the crash crew. And then you work on Steve the teacher. What was Steve the teacher just doing? Look, uh, he was Steve choking. Steve the teacher was just messing with Kwame. Kwame is a massive amount of muscle man. Right there. Try and say that fast. He is massive. Uh, Big Gemini Slam's got him in his corner with Steve the teacher. He's a massive dude, too. Steve, isn't he huge? Look at that. Look at Gemini. And Gemini Big Slam, Kwame. there you go. See, I think this is a mistake. 
switching out so fast to Steve the teacher. He's got Gemini on the ground. He yeah, should he continue he working on nah, Gemini. He couldn't pin him. He couldn't pin him. It's like Even if he couldn't pin him, he should have still worked him because Steve the teacher is the smallest worked man him. in this match. Look at him. He's like 200 pounds versus Gemini who's like, what, three something? Yes, but with using big slam stone the ring, who's 600 pounds compared to what? <laughs> Actually, I think he was like three something. That, that was combined. That was combined, that was combined yeah. buddy. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Okay, Steve, now let me ask you, big slam, you think he got his well, name because of, this, of those you know, good shoulder tackles and... Arm, whatever. And there we go. Uh, Steve the teacher distracting the ref while Big Slam works over Gemini. Uh, he's doing yeah. something. What's this? Uh, the ref, uh, he called on. See? The ref called on. Oh my god. But he let it happen. That, that's gotta hurt. Why would he let and that and happen? Why does the ref hurt from it? It's not even him getting it. He's trying to act, quote unquote. I mean, Steve, why, would, why wouldn't the ref try to break that up? He should have, but. When it's somebody like Big Slam and look at our there referee, you go. Would, you, would you stand up to a man of Big Slam stature? But he's the ref. He should be. He should have disqualified him then. Well, he should have. So, am I right? The ref checking for a choke. I don't believe in it. See, this is a, this is a good good maneuver right here. Keep Gemini in the ring. Keep working his legs. Keep working yeah. his uh. They're definitely his, working his air so he can't breathe. Lungs. Keeping his windpipe closed. Keep him away from Kwame. That's all that matters. Look! 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 There you go. The brothers right there. Right there. They they got a good sync move together. One, two, Kwame breaking up the pin. See, and that's all Kwame needs to do. He just needs to get in there, hit hard, and get out. Usually you may say better ring. They're working the, working the windpipe again. I said that. Usually you may say better ring position for the pin because he was a little close to the ropes. But he's close to the ropes. Look, he's trying to reach. A, a man of Gemini size, no matter where he is in the ring, he's going to be close to the ropes. It's going to be close for Kwame to get in. Whoa, 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 he's biting him, he's biting him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's dirty, but that's effective. They're the crash crew, what do you expect? I said there effective. He he's, back, he's back trying to work, uh, work his air. He's keeping him down, he's keeping him low. He's trying to reach for the other one. He's also resting and wearing down Gemini. And that's all that matters. You know the ref looks really confused with like what six men in the ring here. Especially Isn't that hard? Wins. Isn't that hard? It has to be. Yeah. Drop down. Oh, see the leg. Nice and move. And back, back on the, the net. Headlock. Yeah. Going for the pin. One, two. Gemini ah. kicks out. Only two. Hey, hey, he's a champion. He's gonna kick out. Josh Jeremy nope. reaching for the tag, and he tags in big slam. Which is very smart. Get the bigger man to work on the bigger man. Big Slam, who single-handedly dominated that is, earlier in this match. Is that's a good, actually, strategy. You know, big man, big man. Put him into the corner. Irish whip. Gemini. Look, look, look at the whole and ring. And splash. Oh, oh the, the ring had this move. Splash. Yeah, big slam, big splash. Big Slam. Come on, somebody. The crowd getting into it right now. Tag in Steve the teacher. I, I, Steve the teacher. I think this is a mistake, and Gemini catches him. Caught. See, that was the mistake oh. right there. And Gemini close to the ropes, uses them to get the pin. That was his and feet. There you go. Oh, and, and, and this Trojan, is smart. The Trojan, the Trojans just run in from this match. and start See, they going kept after the Gemini. Pace. They kept the pace. Am I right, Steve? Good yes, pace. Good pace. See, like I was saying, they should. Uh, Steve Together, they keep separating Gemini. You're right. You said that earlier. Yeah. They should have kept Big Slam in. Steve, the teacher, was too small of a man to go into Did this nice match. The fly. He was the fly. He got squashed. What you have to do in a tag team match, especially with one yep. with the crash oh. crew. Look at that. What, what working, was that? The leg. working the legs, which is something you do. But when you're in a tag team match with somebody, especially like the oh, crash oh, crew. Up, oh, Steve. Look at this freak, the Gemini. Pay attention. This is how it's done. He's hurt. Look at him. He is hurt. When you work in a match, you have to divide the ring almost. Make sure that your opponent... Oh, uh, and here we see oh. Kwame. Oh. The first time in the ring, we see Kwame. Oh, right for Josh or big I'm man sure cutting off the windpipe like I they can't were even doing see his face Gemini. over that muscle. They're switching it up. They did everything in Gemini. Now, that crash crew is doing everything to everybody else. With all the time that Kwame has had to rest, you can tell that he's mad. And Whoa! You can tell that he is definitely and, is and he's using his pro boxing style. Kwame was actually a boxer before. He was pro ranked. Wow. That's uh, you know, Dolph Lundgren, I must break you type of boxing, there, Steve. 
I mean, don't you think he could break Dolph Lundgren? Definitely. Rocky Four for you there, folks. I knew that one. Are you nerds at home? That was the best one. Yeah, Mr. T was good. Eh. Hey, come on, Mr. T. You can't deny Mr. T. You can't deny Mr. T, though. It's the A team, Steve. I know you I, were only Now four. you're taking your eyes off the match. No, we're not. We're still we're watching Kwame, Kwame. Excuse me. Look at him. Look. Up and down. Wasn't. Look Side at the ring. Do you? There. That was okay, Steve. Yes. Riddle, me, riddle me this. How come the ring did not make this sound until Kwame got in there instead of beating people down? Because he is such a big man, and even though Big Sam was big, he does not have the muscular and, intensity. And who said that Kwame was a massive amount of muscle before? Mm -hmm. I did. Thank you. I am watching all this yeah, unfold. Yeah, usually you divide the ring off, there but Kwame go. just doesn't care. He's Kwame beating you down. Care. There he goes. He got the boot. And there's the tag team work of the crash crew. Bam! Right to the kisser. He did the boot, and then he did the yeah, he, uh, elbow. Even though Josh and Jeremy may be brothers, the crash crew been in the ring. Like How this version years? of the crash crew. How many crew? years? Bob. But this uh, year, 17? This has been a few. Like at least years, five? Mm. Yeah. The Where's Crash, crash crew? Crew as a team, Gemini. 17 years or something like that? Yeah, they've been, yeah, they've been around for a while. Gemini, no, worked at the power uh, plant. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's, what's this? What's this? Steve. Oh, Gemini walking back there to the other corner. Somebody's paying attention. Training under Fit Finley, and it, it's showing. Yeah, okay, look, what's he doing to him? Is he cutting off his wing pipe? Going or for is the he choke is what he's doing, which is smart, and he is breaking the count. Definitely, definitely. Oh, he looks hurt. He, he probably is. Think about a man of that size, at least 350 pounds. Crushing okay, but the Trojan, he is a big man himself. He is, but compare him to Gemini. Compare him to Oh, Gemini. I know, I know, I know. He is what you said, the fly, and there's the cat. And that's a oh! And Gemini's moving like a cat. Yeah, he's For a big fast. man, he can really he's move. He's moving quick. He's agile. You can, that's why they're such I guess, dominant tag. I guess that time outside that Kwame, you know, was in the ring, I guess that gave him time to oh. recoup. Anybody? And Thanks. look at this right now. Going, offering, just taunting the other. Oh, look at Kwame. He just beat up the ref Don't a little bit. Don't get too close. But if they keep this up, they will get disqualified. Well, that's they a good. Disqualified though, they do still. But that's keep a the good. That's a titles. good technique. Keep the ref not looking where you want him to look, you know, and. Uh, do and what, what do we know. have? Do, do we have a big splash coming up? He's smiling. Smile. He's got a devious. Oh. 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 See, they did that. They Was that a that tag thing. or did he switch off? I they switched off. He, the ref did not see it. If you blink, you miss it. One, two, two kick out. I mean, look at that, Steve. You blink, you two, miss it. Again. You don't even know who's in. Look for that tattoo. I'm telling you, folks at home. I think they should wear shirts with numbers on them, one and two. I they definitely agree. Punch to the gut. Is that oh. little Dr. Seuss, Steve? I believe it is. Ah. See, uh, turtle to turtle? Turtle my turtle. Gemini at disadvantage because he's not on his on oh. his legs. No, but that was that looked pretty something hurtful right there Steve right, right here, man. yes it was and once again dividing the rank People and they're both the working together Gemini's in their corner their favor now I he's think this is where, where the the years Choking of being brothers like is coming in effect that they the each chick know in the each other. background she looks like she's in pain what she was Would the you watch the match you said the crowd she was hurting she was feeling for Gemini because she saw that the champ was going down Oh, look, look, there's Kwame. Speed, Kwame making the distraction. Oh, and a uh, punch to the, uh, yeah. See? Yeah. Didn't, didn't yeah. Chris say that before? Didn't he say strategy? You get the ref away, Gemini you do your thing. Gemini better make the tag. That's a smart strategy. He's, oh, and cut oh. before he can even get there. Oh, my God. Does anybody burned. remember Police Academy with the two Titans going at it? This is what this reminds me of, folks. Look at them. I didn't two powerhouses going back and forth. Chris, I didn't catch that one. Police Academy 6. Oh, I'm sorry, oh. back to the match. Look, 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 look. Both men stumbling. Oh, and oh. a big headbutt. Oh, oh takes them both. two fast cuts for you, folks. Putting him his own body at risk instead of making the tag, it might okay. not have been that smart. Okay, okay, yo, isn't Gemini closer to Kwame than the other Trojans are closer to each other? Just because Gemini's and a Kwame man. distracting the ref once yep. again. 
But see, look, he's closer. He can get in. There you go. Look, look, he got in first. Bones but making uh, the tag. Kwame going in slow. Oh. Close line. That was a big one. Big close line. Everything from this man's big. It, look, it looks slam. like the other well, Steve, like when you look like dazed. that, you are very big. Going for another body slam. And you hear that ring, folks? That is a devastating slam a going throughout the whole building. And now here's a two-on-one strategy. The crash group. Oh, oh. Chops. Listen. Ch no. No. Hey, see? That's the oh. thing I was talking about. But One's down. Pops but back in. Look, look at him. Look. Oh, oh. Fear. Oh. Fear. Oh. One, oh. Two. Kwame gets the pin. He got it, Steve. Oh, my God. Chris. And that's the three count. There you go. Chris said it. Three count. One of the Gemini Trojans going for the flare flip, running down the apron, goes in, but they get caught. He gets called with the double spear from the tag team champs. The I couldn't have said it better. That was amazing, folks. They still have the belts. They didn't lose the, how many times is that, Steve? Two, three, seven, 15, come on, pick a number. Somebody, where's the owner at? Call him up. Here comes their music, everybody. No, they are not. They are tossing out the Trojan. They're putting the belts on the ground so they can do it. No, 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 no. Look, Kwame's beating him with the belt. Well, Gemini might have threw his down, but they both did not throw nothing down. And now they do. Now they threw the belts down. Ah, there you and, go. And oh my oh, God. humping the belt. Chris, isn't that your job to clean up? No, it is not. I manned the cameras. Thank you, folks. Who are they? I think they're pointing at somebody. Yeah. They're starting something. Does the owner know about this? Uh, they're taunting the audience. Folks, this, this is I think they always taunt the audience. I don't know what that's about. But that's called Challenging. getting a reaction, Steve. Don't you know about that? Didn't you do that at your match? Bobby, he's, he's up there, man. He's getting his props, he's getting his pops, and he's getting his respect. He's getting his pops, he's getting his pops because he is the pops. Like that triple line? No, because it sounded like you said pops three times. Pops, pops, pops. Okay. Placement. Yo, who are you? Would you like to introduce yourself? I'm all right. This is our cameraman. This is Chris. Yo, Chris. He's kind of creepy. As we notice all the smoke pouring from the back, that can only mean one thing. Does anybody smell that? Who's this coming out, Rich Steve? Wait, wait, wait. I, I detect the good stuff. Uh, 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 Trey Yes! 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 Am I, am Superstar right? Trent Acid. Oh, there he comes. I was right. He's I'm been right. around the world. And, and there's Buddy. a trail of smoke that shows you that Trent Acid has been somewhere. What's his uh, record there, Steve? What do you mean? What's his record in ACPW, Steve? His record in ACPW, he won his last match when he teamed with Devin Moore against the Gemini Trojans. How good of a wrestler do you think he is? Trent Acid is a world-renowned superstar. You can ask anybody. You can ask anybody about Trent Acid, and they will pretty much know him from all of his past accomplishments, and he has many past accomplishments. So what's the problem? So he's with from a, he's a singles tag. Uh, he's in singles tags. Has he done? What has he done, Steve? 
He is an amazing singles competitor. He's better known for his tag team competition, but he he's just a great wrestler all around. He does lots of amazing stuff. Like what? Things that I am not allowed to mention because our owner does not let me. Why is that? Because it's just not proper to mention other inferior federations. That's cool. It is. You probably shouldn't have worded it like that. But I understand what you're saying. You want to keep the disclosure that down. Exactly. All right, it's cool. Yeah, because, you know, mentioning other people, you can get lawsuits, and, you know, we just rather not do that. Trent finally making it into the ring. Or has he? Or, uh, well, he's made it onto the ring. And there is a gesture. You know what that means. Hey, Steve. As an uh, he's going to be number one. As a, Steve, uh, on an athletic level, what do you think about uh, you know, Trent Acid being like that? Trent Acid has very good stamina. Despite what he says that he does. Oh, yeah. He's talking. All right. I'll come back in about half an hour. No problem. No problem. What's up with that, Northeast Philly? You can't cheer for an international superstar. I can afford homes all over the world. I can make my summer residence in your house if you know what I mean, buddy. That wasn't his hair? Steve, Steve, I thought that was his hair. That's very interesting. Baltimore Mayor. Eric Chappell. Steve, have you heard of Eric Chappell? I've seen Eric Chappell wrestle many times. He's a phenomenal. What's up with this new song? What's up with the new song? I don't know. That's his choice, not mine. Sounds a little better than his last song, huh? Steve, uh, Steve Chris, huh? I like Godsmack. Yeah, Godsmack's a good band. What's Shannon doing? Rocking out. Trying to figure out the mic so she doesn't break it again like earlier. Eric Chappell is a role model. He goes and he puts it right on his chest. So, uh, Rich Steve, what do you think of Eric Chappell? Like I said before, Eric Chappell, from what I've seen of him, he he does a lot of he just does a lot of crazy stuff. He does sort of like the Undertaker old school moves where he goes oh. to the top rope. He does a lot of the as Chris calls it, flippy floppy crap. I was talking to Eric Chappell earlier today, and he was saying that he's trying a new style of wrestling. He used to be a great cruiser rate, but he wants to develop his skills on the mat, and you know, become an all-around great wrestler. That should be interesting. Combination with Trent Acid. Oh, here he goes talking again. This nobody comes out of here, and all I hear is. You know, when I'm overseas, I hear the fans saying the Trent Acid. That shows how dumb Americans are, and especially how dumb. The people in Northeast Philadelphia are. I am ashamed to be here. You really think this guy has a chance to beat me? Huh? Where's your fans at? See, they don't think you can beat me. Both Trent Acid and Eric Chappell look phenomenal shape. Steve, what do you think? Both of them look like they are in top physical condition. This the style is just going to be an amazing matchup to me because, as you say, Eric Chapp is trying to do a little bit of a different style than the flippy floppy crap, the cruiserweight stuff that he usually does in his repertoire. And then you have Trent Acid, who just is such a well-rounded well -rounded and balanced superstar. He's an international superstar. He's been in Japan. That when these two... Mexico? 
when these two go head to head with each other, it's just how many be feds has he been in? Five, six? Dozens on top of dozens. So he's pretty good like that. Like Steve, you know, he's probably been around like you're saying. He's he really been all over really, the world yeah. and many people know the name Trent Hansen. So then all right, so why are the people at Northeast here don't care about him? Because Eric Chappell he Eric Fan Chappell, favorite. Exactly. Eric yeah, Chappell look, just look, comes look, in, look at that pop. Gets the response he needs, and he's just there for the wrestling. Trent Acid's there for the showboating. Exactly. Yeah, and look but, at once right. again going out into the crowd. All right, all right, all right, all right. But look at his showboating though. You can't tell me that he's not doing a great job at that. He he's who? good for what he does, but who is that? Who is that? The camera? I, there was nobody know. on camera. Yeah. He reached to somebody off camera. Kid in the Mohawk. Miss AB. Trent still the delaying game. the match. Who are you? Look, look, look. Peak, there he is. Everybody, look at that man in the white shirt with the camera. That creep is who's doing the commentary right now. Okay. No, calm down for a second. But seriously, the cameraman is the guy that sees everything. So shouldn't he be the guy that does commentary? Personally, I feel we should just watch this match because oh wait, has to start. Personally, yet. look, they're still talking. I think okay. We listen. I'm trying to ask, it seems to be delaying the match. Eric what Chappell. No, no, Eric no, no, Chappell. No, 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 think about this. About. Here's what's going on. Trent's delaying the match, making Chappell do something stupid so he can get so he can get the first move I think in. He's making Chappell bored, and he's also giving Chappell a bigger pop. Am I right? America. That's what he's saying. Now, Chapel's just going to jump in, do something stupid. It'll give Trent the chance to one-up him exactly. before it even begins. So See, that's Chappell's strategy. getting, yes. Trent has great strategy right now. Chapel's getting so impatient, pacing the ring. Big word for you, Chris. Trent but has to keep his right. cool, very right. mellow, very relaxed, and Eric Chapel just can't take it anymore. He wants the But Steve, or Steve, isn't that good? That's a good strategy. It is a great strategy. Chris has a point, you have a point, and it all works. That is the experience coming into play from a world-renowned superstar like Trent Asset, and the bell finally rang. I think it rang 10 minutes ago, we just didn't hear it. Especially they did not hear it. Trying to get a pop. It's starting, it is working for him. Isn't this the third time that Chapel has gotten a pop and Trent has not? What do you think is going on there? Lock up. Fine, bring him down. But he's back up. It is, both men seem to be equally matched in strength. Trent doing the smart thing, whoa, getting whoa, whoa, outside. Strength? Don't they look equally matched in size? These two are two equally matched superstars on one. So then this is a great match. It Don't you think that the owner has put together a good match? But there is one thing you are forgetting. What is and that? that is experience. And Eric Chappell does not even have close to the amount of experience that Trent has. I will give you that, but you know Chappell's been around for a couple of years. You know he's picked up some things. He's young, he's hungry, he's a high flyer. Like Chris said, he's trying to keep it down on the mat. He's trying to bring it to a new level, and that level is what Trent Acid is used to. Going to the Look, 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 there's Chris's, that's what he said, exactly. strategy. Yeah, and what here we go. Said. That you is go. where the you got to think about it. The owner just said strategy. He's going to make him do something stupid. Chappell just did something stupid. The thing is, Eric Chappell is going to try and go for what? A new style. The thing is, Trent, Trent Acid invented the new style. Trent Acid's wrestled all over the world. He's been to Japan where the high flying rules. He's been to Mexico where it's more where it's also luchador. Uh, uh, look, whoa, whoa, look, he's kicking butt there. He's been with brawlers. He's been with technicians. He's been champions. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Trent Acid is going to know what's going on. Oh, look at that! That's the type of thing. Oh, it's uh, taking it, Trent to the uh, There you go. There, hey. Hey. That was good strategy by Chapel. He it beat was. him up and he kicked him out of the ring. Now, yeah, but now kicking him out of the ring without going over and attacking Trent on the ground, giving he's time giving time. time. That's dirty, though. Chapel's playing it clean. 
Trent has to go up, and he has a back problem. Looks like he needs some help from a lovely lady at ringside. Who? Who's that? She's giving him a massage. <laughs> oh, that's a little weird. But see now, but I see now, look, 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 look Trent's butt. getting the count out. Steve, isn't he getting the count out? No, he's, he's getting ten. Get he's getting nine seconds of rest. But he could get counted out. Yes, but a superstar like Trent Asis is not going to allow it. See, uh, uh, and he, see, breaks, he breaks, breaks the count. And has another nine yeah. seconds of rest and then before Chappell's he does it again. And then being stupid now. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Chappell's being stupid. I agree. I agree. But Trent's also being stupid. He could go in there and do something to him. Trent Asis is getting the mind games, though. He is playing his smart. He so he's going to make Chappell do something stupid again. Exactly. Ah, okay, I see you. So uh, now, there he goes. goes. Chappell's yeah. going to follow him to the outside. Now, see, he caught on. Losing is cool. Running, and Trent is playing with what him a now. dork! Yeah, Look at it's that. cat and mouse, and Trent got the advantage. High ground. Yep, and he has that rest. Where Chapel? No pop pacing. though. No pop. Chapel's pacing the ring, getting worn out, and mentally is worn out. Mentally, he looks physically worn out. He is now. Yeah, you agree. Yeah, okay. Touche, my friend. No pop. No pop. Trent, Irish whip, reversal by Eric Chapel. Somebody took Going a up picture. top, and this it, is it, that old style. School. This is that Undertaker old school. There he goes. That is the style. Here he goes. Going up. Uh, uh, I do a hard karate. Oh. That is the, that's a mixture of. Uh, was the ref trying to do one? What, what, what I was think the ref was getting out of the way. Trent looked like he almost hit him. One, two, uh, and a kick out of Trent Asset. There you go. There is your. There's your the pop fans there. behind uh, Eric Chappell. Hey, here he goes. He's picking him up. up. What was that, Steve? Going for a scoop slam. Trent reverses it. Getting a scoop of his own. Oh, and just dropping Ooh. it right down. Yeah. And He's nobody cares. For it. Nobody cared. Big move. Oh, Whoa. Whoa. Lands on his feet, though. What was that? What was that? He landed on his feet because he saw that Eric Chappell. Yeah, was but now he's letting Chappell get rest. No, no he's, he's planting not. a spot. There it is. Oh, he missed. Playing his move. Oh, oh my God, what a super kick. And what Chinese little thing is that? Chinese little thing? What? Kick out at two by I don't know. He did some, like, hua type stuff. Super kick. Yeah. Wah. No, after that. I don't know. Choking him at this. It's smart, though. That, what, the ref's not doing anything. He has five seconds to break the hold. Oh, the ref could break the hold himself. Trent's still bending all the rules to his advantage. And that's now this is where the experience comes in with Trent over Chapel. Yeah, that, you know, all around to two years or whatever Chapel's got. To Trent's, what, 15, six, 20. nine? Trent Acid, he's been in it for so long. He Wasn't he a teenager? He was. He was a teenager. So he's probably like, what, six, seven years? Yeah. He was the original feature of pro wrestling. Oh. Is that, is that a shoot? That sounds like a shoot, Steve. Eric Chappell breaking the hold. Going off. Irish oh. whip. Kick to the head. Going again. Oh, he missed. Oh. Backdrop. Oh, my God. Holy sh One, two. Well, what? I don't know. The what ref's that was. not really fluent in his counts. Maybe this ref should be fired. I think you should do something about that. He's hairy. I think the owner should do something about that. Yeah, owner, if you are listening, do yeah. something about that. I think the owner needs to get up on that. Because that ref is terrible, and the owner well, is the one who pays him. Yeah, but you know, when I, I was Dude, at the show. Uh, a cocky uh, pin uh, is yeah. by Trent. I was at the show, and you know, the owner was running around like crazy. So maybe he's not paying attention right now. Stupid owner. Yeah, it's true. What's a, a, a choke. It's cocky. Well, oh, come on. The ref should do something about he that. He does. He counts the five. That's what he can do. I think he's staring at Trent's abs and Well, you know, he buttocks. does have a very good athletic body. Like we said earlier, it's not yes. hard to get lost in it. No. I heard that you were very lost into it. Who? You. No, I well, was not. I was very focused on oh, the match. Oh, and he left. You can see me very focused on the match. I believe. Is your hand zooming in right now? No, I am not. Wait till the camera cuts back. Wait Running. for it. There it is. See? Oh, and oh. you were zoomed in. And I got that shot. What? Is, oh. He got hurt on the ropes. What is that called? That was called getting hurt on the ropes. He got nutted, folks. Yeah, but Chapel did so. 
now the 10 count for both of them to revive. <laughs> revive? That's going to take forever to revive from that. Both men getting up pretty fast. Pretty fast. That's a little slow, Steve. Sorry, I meant slow, but they're getting up on their feet. There comes Trent. Reversal. Oh, first on Chapel's got him. He did something there. Oh, my God. Second one, whatever move that is, and now he's mocking Trent. Trent's famous whatever move he calls that little thing to the crowd. And isn't and this the second or third back, time? Back second to the ropes. Time going up to the old school. Good job, Steve. Oh, my oh. God. What was that? What was that? He flipped it into almost like a DDT maneuver. Going Dude, for the pin. Almost three. Two Look out. at that. Almost. Yeah, but what, it's not almost. It has to be three. Hey, but Chapel's doing pretty good. You got to admit that. Eric Chapel. He's keeping up with him. He's surprising you. He's he keeping up. Is. Look, and look, look. He's going up again. He's going up. I think the more he goes to the top rope, the more the more times he goes to make a mistake that Trent can capitalize on. Yeah, he can rest like you were saying earlier. It is what they call the Like that. Distance. See, what was that? He just screwed up he big time. He goes for the swanton and moves out of the way. And Trent, Trent looks like he's dancing really happy now because he knows the chapel made it. Uh, he made do, we have, do we have another awesome super kick? Folks. He may have been playing possum. Yep, the, he's this, leading them on because here he goes. Chapel gets up. This, he's setting them up. He's setting them up. Oh! Missed it. No. And throws him outside, tread acid. Oh, Chapel's like smarter than we thought. Eric Chapel, will he take advantage of the situation? No, he, he looks now, like it. He's going uh, to, there, there he goes. goes. High cross body. Oh, oh, my God. Springboard outside. Cross body on the floor. Chapel, he's capitalized on uh, and he's Trent's picking days. Him up now. Throwing him back into the ring. Eric Chapel. Not wasting much time. Yes, throwing him back in the ring, Steve. Going in. But Trent, Trent looks dazed. He looks so. No. It was the third or fourth time now. He's back on the road. Chapel up top. Trent turns around. I think around. this is Watch out. Cross body. Oh, my God. Two. One. Eight. Two. Two and a kick out by oh. Trent Acid. It's an amazing match here, folks. So that was See, this is where one. the experience of Chapel shows. He's not He's not continuing his assault on Trent right away. He's not, he's he's not wearing on him top down. of him. Still wearing him down. Yeah, but he's not keeping Slowly on but him. surely. Slowly but surely. The this little choo choo that could. Going this, yeah. That's the fourth or fifth. It's fourth. The third. Fourth. For the old third time. Fourth. With, okay. See, oh, oh, what was that? What was that? Reversed it. Back kick to the head or something. See, this shows this shows Eric Chapel going oh. four times in the same match One. Oh. with the same move. Three. Oh, what was that? And that's it. Holy. After a devastating kick to the head. Two. Back in front. Exactly. Eric Chapel. Shouldn't have tried to do the same And move. Trent mocking him right now. And that right there, that just shows you the experience of Trent Addison. No now he gets coming. a pop. Now he gets a pop. And now he's signaling something that I'm not sure of. But He's what asking for the microphone. Again. Uh, now he's showing his karaoke abilities. Somebody get this man a monitor. Then again, then again it looks like he doesn't need one. Eric Chapel was really hurt. hurt. Yeah. I don't believe he can remember the lyrics. Oh, he dropped the mic. That's like uh, That's an expensive level. microphone. That's yeah. like owner, dollars Owner, get on that. That's like $400, Steve. Chris, you got me staying with us or is AB coming back? Who knows? Who knows? AB, I don't know if he's coming back. I think he got Cha locked Look in at Chapel. Chapel looks really I think, hurt. I think AB got locked in the bathroom again, just like on the team. Folks, this is our junior heavyweight title match, and this is a title on the pole. Isn't that a title rematch? It's a rematch. It is a title on the pole match. I don't know how many of you people are at home have seen items on a pole match. They're just crazy. I know I haven't seen it. Well, basically, folks, what will happen is the title will be suspended from that tripod in the corner. That each combatant will have to use whatever way they can to get up there and grab the junior heavyweight strap. Oh, hold on, hold on. Somebody's coming out. Here we come with Chris Wilde. Sexy back. Bringing the sexy back. Justin Timberlake. Didn't they do this on the VMAs the other night? You know what? I didn't care to watch. Nor did I. I was in a fight.
you know, he actually stole all of those from Rich Steve. Whoa, Rich Steve wears thongs, ladies and gentlemen. Fat kid in a thong, that's a little disturbing. Okay, Chris Wilde circling the ring, finally making his way into the ring. Did anybody else notice that the ropes are almost taller than him? <laughs> yeah, because what is he, three foot five? See, you know what makes this more interesting? That there are three poles here, not just one. So both combatants can climb up one of each pole to try to make it. Yeah. That is true. That's like having two ladders. Oh, yeah. What are you talking about Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory for? Oh, I'm sorry. I think you're getting the Oompa Loompas and the uh, Munchkins. Kids. Lollipop Kids. Lollipop Kids. Wait, wait, are we disrespecting? Crash crew coming what? down to the ring. What are they doing here? Does anybody remember last month what happened with the crash crew, Chris Wilde? I remember, but why don't you explain it? Uh, Chris Wilde joined up with the crash crew. He's humping the ring? Well, so Chris Wilde has aligned with the crash crew. Yeah, and also uh, Bob Steele. Oh yes, Bob Steele. I remember that. Bob Steele. Yeah. They're Titans. They they have cruisers. <laughs> Chris Wilde's a Titan. Tag. Somebody needs okay. to laugh at that one. No, no. Ah. Okay, they Thank have you. they have a great faction going here. A great junior. <laughs> That's a great not tag a team. Titan. He's like all, all junior the, Titan. They have a heavyweight. Then they also right now all they need is whoa whoa that's dominating right there. That's pretty scary, huh, Steve? All they like, need is to get the junior heavyweight yeah. strap, and they would be in control pretty much of all the titles except for the TV title. Yeah, but see, you can't beat down. And uh, Chris Wilde looks like he's just climbing up to grab it. Hey, somebody three foot five can reach that tall. I mean, if he actually wants to, he could probably jump off and grab it, but I doubt he can. What's he waiting for? He should just grab it. And Build it and ring. He's got a, I guess it's not official until the bell rings. No, wins. the bell rung. They're, uh, they're counting out the crash crew, right? No, that's I, something else. The crash crew's interfering, he said. Right, Steve? Yes, yes yeah. he did. They have 10 seconds to vacate. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Chris Wilde will be disqualified or something like that? Exactly. Yeah, okay. It's a smart strategy there by a referee for one. I think the owner initiated it, right? Yes, yes, there I go. Think so. Hold on, shh, shh. Uh oh. It's about to get crazy in here, folks. Metallica. We have the smoke, the lights. <laughs> now you just need the man and the presence. Okay, okay. Well, he had Look, the smoke Steve. and the grass. You What's going the, on there? You got the man in the present, Steve. Wait, Wait a minute. A, Look at is that. Is he wearing a bra? No, that's seashells. He also stole that from Rich Steve. <laughs> so and a were, hula skirt. Dude, that? <laughs> Look at him. Look at this guy. You know that ladder match last, last show? That was a crazy match. Chris Wilde was hurt. So 
There we go. That's very true. Without Shay, without the fans. And that is not crazy though. That is the truth. Everybody here at ACPW, thank you for your fans. Yes, thank you all. And Chris Wilde still being timid on the outside. Okay, besides the height difference, Rich Steve, don't you think these guys are pretty well matched? Yes, they are definitely evenly matched. I would have to say Chris Wilde may have a little bit of an advantage because Crazy Shay does go crazy sometimes, and that is why. So then how does, no, no, that's a better advantage because that means he can I, do I anything he wants. I think the saying was, why be mild when you can be crazy? But exactly. When you now that's a smart concept right there. Folks, look at last month's show, the ladder match. Crazy Shay saw what he thought was an opportunity where he was doing the flip into the crotch from the top rope, and he got into it too much. He lost his cool, tried it too many times. And he, he did it caught, twice. But he got caught. He did it twice. Here's and where, uh, if I recall, he still won. Here's where Crazy Shay is. He just might as well go up to the top and end this right now. There's the bell. Match now is official. Go this. Now he could win it. And here comes Chris Wilde, which Sneak I don't Sneak attack. Whoa, him. Whoa, whoa, what is this? D d doesn't he see him? Doesn't he hear him? No, he's expecting him. Ah, Chris Wilde from behind. Oh, man. Bell ringing again. That's a bad, see, that's a good offense. You just get him off guard and just beat the crap out of him. Exactly. That's like barroom fighting. Working him back, Irish whip, coming in. Oh, big clothesline by Chris Wilde. That's devastatingly big. Chris Wilde, for his size, does have some power behind all of his shots. I will give him that. Hey, anybody, any, even a three foot five man, will have some power behind it. I mean, it might be three foot five power, but it's still three foot five. The problem there, folks, going for the pin, but there are no pinfalls. You have to go up there and get that belt. Yeah, and that that's difficult, Steve. That's very difficult. Any words, Chris? Uh, oh, oh God, the, the title, title fell. fell. Now, automatically, oh, in, a, in a problem with the title falling off a pole, it automatically goes to pinfall or submission. Yes, that is the case. When there is a title match Whoa, like this, whoa, look at that. Look, look, Crazy Jay was smart, though. But Chris Wilde might be smarter. Oh, man. Uh, I don't really even think they care about the title, or right now no, it's just beating not, the hell out of each they're other. They're not paying attention. They're uh, going for it. Chris Wilde, there is just bad blood, and like you said, they don't even care. About former that tag team partners, former friends. Oh, uh, woo! Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they they hate each other now. That's a big chop, though. I mean, yeah, they, they uh. Look at this! Look at this! Tony the fence move. Is Wait. he gonna? Is he gonna throw? Oh, no, that reminds <laughs> me of somebody else's move. ACPW does not have that smart fans. I'm sorry, I have to. Hey, say that. shut up! Without the fans, you wouldn't have ACPW. Without the fans, there'd be no Rich Steve. Chris Wilde still taking the advantage on Crazy Shay. And he's now he now, now he belt. just realized no belt. Oh my god. There's your head to the groin you were talking about. No, As Chris Wilde just deep. realized that it now has to go to a pinfall or submission. DDT from the top rope. No, I think he's a little lost because he's like wondering where his belt title is because he thinks he's the man. Big leg drop by Chris Wilde. <laughs> Wait a minute, three foot five and big leg drop? Come on, those words oh. don't make sense. It does when you're Chris Wilde. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of power behind that leg drop. Crazy Shay, though. Crazy Shay? Oh, oh my oh. God, big belly to back. Isn't that like a suplex or something? Big belly to back suplex with a roll through for the pin. He had a bridge to it. Yeah, what, a bridge? Explain that one. A bridge, he arched his back, turning it into a pin. Thank you. Now the folks at home can look for that and say, Mommy, Mommy, I know what this move is. From the future pro the wrestling himself, kids Rich Steve. And parents, thank your mom, thank Rich Steve, tell your mom, and you know what, come to our show and see Rich Steve. We'll tell you all these moves. I'm one of the best wrestling minds there is, and I'm one of the best wrestlers there is. I'm the future of pro wrestling. I'm the innovator of innovations. I'm Rich Steve. Keep your mind on the match. Yes, oh you God, talk sorry, too much. Sorry. What just happened here? They, they're both down. It Something's was a going on. To the 
groin, I believe. Is that what happened? Yes, it was. See, I can even talk about myself and watch the match at the same time. I'm just that talented. Talk about yourself? Yes, you do that way too much. Whoa, is he choking him? No, he's setting him up. Oh, for a big kick to the back of the head. Wow. Oh, and oh, another that's kick. That's two. Oh, I, I thought he was going. See, he's I've heard that Crazy Shay had concussion after concussion after oh. concussion. Wasn't he and in the hospital the, at one point? Yeah, yeah from all weapon. these oh, from all these matches, it's got to take a toll on you. You know, he's got scars all over his body. Not only is he, he and lives Chris Wilde still does not realize the title is gone. Every time he keeps checking up there to get it. Oh no! He's and now he takes it and leaves. See how arrogant this man is for being three foot five. See, it's a smart idea though. If I was in the match, I would probably do the same thing. But no, 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 no. The ref or the owner did not say that this match is won by Chris Wilde. He's just being dumb. Now uh, oh. here they come with Crazy Shay with a ladder. No, he blocked it or something. He's saying he's smart. See that? He's tapping his head. I think Chris Wilde tried to throw it at him. Anybody? It's a hellacious match. Where is Chris Wilde? He's on the ground. And there he is. You were right. See? I, I was there. Crazy Shay picking up Chris Wilde, setting up that ladder. Last month they had an amazing ladder matchup. People are still talking about. And Ouch. Oh. That had to hurt somebody. I actually don't think this is for the title anymore. I think they just want to hurt each other. Yeah, he's pleading. Oh. He's pleading very badly. Chris Wilde is, is hurting now. Crazy Shay putting that ladder on Chris Wilde. Look at the kids in the back. They're concerned. Oh, oh my gosh. That lady right there, she was a little worried. Yeah, thank you. And applauding Crazy Shay they are. They well, love him. Okay, this guy may be crazy, but you know the fans love him. Exactly. Yes. And the fans love to hate Chris Wilde. Well, I don't think they love to hate him as much as they love Crazy Shay, but I will agree with you. And Shay scooped and slammed oh, on the ladder. Oh, that's not good. Look at his face. He's hurting, man. Folks, that is a solid ladder. It hurts. Metal. Just think about that. Metal, fiberglass. Go, go grab yourself a spoon or something, a knife. No, 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 no. Don't grab anything at home. <laughs> we will put a warning, a disclosure. Parents, watch your kid. Oh, hold on. See, they like explained it earlier. Finally. So. See? Chris bloodbath. He hates him. Bloodbath. Chris was right. He said it. He doesn't he even want the belt. He just wants and to now hurt now the chair's involved. Yeah, but he's still got the ladder. Look at Crazy Shay. Crazy Shay looks so hurt. I don't think he's whoa, going back whoa, to the party whoa. tonight. That was smart. I think Crazy Shay and Chris Wilde, instead of going to a party, they're going to go to the hospital. Yeah, well, you know what? Somebody's definitely going to the hospital tonight. Whoa, what's going on? Somebody that you Chris Wilde running? running from Crazy Shay. Uh, Steve, is this that cat and mouse thing again? Folks, this is just smart. That's what it is. He's scared. Smart. Crazy Shay snuck up behind Chris Wilde with the ladder oh and be on it. I would call that smart. It's a very great angle you got there, Chris. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, I look for the action, and I try oh! to... Oh, God! Now, that was action. Steve, that's, Chris? That's what you will only see in ACPW. That is amazing right there. You want to know why, talent. folks? Because the owner knows what he's doing. He's providing you with the best action possible. The Steve. best talent. Yep. Steve. You be rich, Steve? <laughs> 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 Sorry, I had to. Crazy Shay getting back into the mm -hmm. ring. Waiting for Chris Wilde. Well, isn't, that, isn't there a count out being applied? There is. So Crazy Shay's smart. Exactly. But also... But Crazy Shay doesn't lose the title on a count out. That's, yeah, that's true. It's not a pinfall. Chris coming in. But I don't Whoa! Think, what was that? That was a big clothesline. I don't think Crazy what, Shay... What, wasn't that to his midsection? Yes, it was. I don't believe Crazy and Shay... And Chris was Wilde with a like chair. Uh-oh. Oh, oh Phantaminator. What? How is somebody else doing that move? That Van Dam Rob Van Dam invented that move. Well, then shouldn't Rob Van Dam be sticking to that move and nobody else? It's a hellacious move. That's all that matters. Okay, so is that a tribute? That is not. That is actually a Texas clover. Oh, 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 explain that, oh, Steve. Crazy Steve, Steve explain chair. that. What? The Texas well, clover leaf? Actually, let's go on with the crazy shade with the chair.
Sorry, folks, that was actually a sharpshooter. Okay, so it's, it's a sharpshooter. Crazy Shea still beating on Chris Wilde. See, they don't. It's it's no longer about belts and glory. It's about hurting each other. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, big boot to the face. That's not good, right there. He's hurting. Crazy Shea. Shea dragging him to the corner. What's he going to do? That tripod is still there. That can what? Still be Didn't somebody the say he can climb up it and use it? Exactly. Who said that? What? What is, Whoa, what is that? What is that? Doing? Vampire oh drop! God. Holy! Oh my God! Somebody, what was that? It's a vampire drop. Crazy Shea has done this before. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> One, two. Oh, so, Chris, but what? Uh, uh, Chris Wilde. He should have won that. He should have. That was that was a devastating move. And for it not All to right. end like that, that just shows you how you know what? determined. You know what? I'm generally mad. Irish Whip coming in. Reverse uh, it. No. Oh. No, no, no. Oh. Crazy Shay looks like he's just done some kind of control. He looks. Oh. oh. Nah, he looks. Is that on his neck? I think that was on his neck and the back and his back region. That was just that was sick. I think that drop took some out of him. <laughs> what is left? This has been a crazy match. But it's perfect for Crazy Shay. Long too, pretty long. Well oh! Chris Wilde showing uh, what skills he still has. Oh, oh skills. Yeah, He's three foot five. Moonsault. That was a devastating standing moonsault. You have to agree. Oh, it's Chris Wilde. Agree. Chris Wilde going to the top. Chris Wilde going up. What's he gonna do? Uh, he's going onto the tripod. Crazy Shay trying to get the crowd behind him. Uh, what's this? He's swinging. Oh, oh Chris, Chris Wilde should have known. Crazy Shay telegraphed that. By sh by I think Chris Wilde. Went, I think Chris Wilde went too soon, thinking that uh, seeing that uh, Crazy Shay was about to move. Yeah, you might have been right. I, you I, know what? He screwed up either way. Something happened. Exactly. Some, let's just say something happened, folks. Wilde something wasn't happened. Thinking, just thinking about the belt. That's all. I don't think no, I don't think he's thinking about the belt. I'm thinking he just wants to hurt oh. Crazy Shay and vice versa. Yeah, they're, they're they're killing each other now. It's it's a murderous rampage, folks. Crazy Shay just passing out, just from all the pain and everything. Passing out. He just gave a headbutt to the C on Chris Wilde's pants. Yeah, that's not passing out. That's called uh, redemption and like, he you know. He did not give a headbutt. He just fell, folks. Whatever. A fury of Trump. Woo! 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 Yo! Woo! Yo! Woo! Ah! Oh, Ow, my ear. <laughs> Picks him up. Over the shoulder. Is that a fireman's? Oh, my God. Death Valley driver. Death Valley, okay. One, two, three. Whoa, what was that? A kick out. Uh, That's what that no, is. No, I think it was three count. It was a three was count. A three? Yeah, this is all confusing. I think. It's so, folks, something's going on. Chris Wilde won. Oh, is it? Chris Wilde, your new ACPW Junior Heavyweight Champion. But who's that? Who's that coming to the ringside? Looks like the oh, Crash no. Crew. No, get that out of here. Uh, get the hell out of here. The Crash Crew. Attacking Crazy Shay. Security! Somebody! Oh, Chris somebody. Wilde said it was going to end in a bloodbath. Oh, God. That doesn't look good, folks. He's got him up. What's Kwame got in his hand? That's a crucifix. That's a crucifix. Oh, it hits him in the midsection. That's a Kwame. chain. Oh, my down. God. Kwame's got a chain. Oh, my God, folks. This is... The hey, match is over. Hey, Steve. Chris Wilde guaranteed that it was going to end in a bloodbath. And hey. that's what he did. He had the crash crew come out and devastate Chris Wilde. That was his money in the bank. Steve, what are they Whoa, what are they doing here? What's they this? got all the gold. Chris, what are they doing? They're beating him up. They're beating up They're beating up the ref. Now that's just uh, excessive. The crash crew, Big Bob Steele, and Chris Wilde, all three what, have they're the They're still back in the ring. Gemini with the chair. Oh, Ow. Crazy Shay, he's out. Oh, my God. That Jeez. faction is unstoppable. Chris Wilde is humping the belt. And now tonight, Sinister X, Big Bob Steele, and Nick Burke are going to have a match. And really? That's that's just going to be, that's going to show you. Oh, yeah, that was, that was, yeah. They talk about the boyhood dream, 
watching, dreaming, wishing, and eventually winning that coveted title of your choosing. You see everybody in the business from the lowest to the top has that dream, even Rich Steve. You see, I'm the future of pro wrestling, but now it's not my time. Two weeks ago, a challenge was made. It was going to be the living dead versus Sebastian Rose and a partner of his choosing. Unfortunately, that won't happen. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, what does Rich Steve have to do with all of this? I was supposed to be managing the living dead. Now when I found out it wasn't happening, obviously I was upset. But you see, I went out and I tried to find a new team and I accomplished just that. Tonight's a tag team match, the Dragonfly and Sebastian Rose versus my team. Now personally, I feel that's very fitting because one of the things that you need to win a match is to intimidate your opponent, to strike fear into the heart of your opponent. How can you strike fear into the heart of an opponent who doesn't have a heart? How can you intimidate two men, one who's just, who's just crazy and the other one who's dead? The answer is you can't. You see Sebastian Rose, the thing is, you remind me a lot of Ric Flair, Sting, all those legends of the business. You're still in it, just trying to, to recapture your past glory. But you see the difference between you and Ric Flair, Sebastian? You have no past glory. Now as for the Dragonfly, my boys are gonna crush you like a bug tonight. The bug that you are. I don't know too many people that are afraid of a man who can get the senior citizens discount at Denny's and the illegitimate son of Mr. Miyagi and the Ultimo Dragon. And my boys are no exception. You see, I'm the future of pro wrestling, but for now, I manage the present. And tonight, my boys know that they have to destroy Sebastian Rose and the Dragonfly. And the two people that are gonna do it are my new clients, KJ Hellfire and Quartz. Bring them out. Tonight, Dragonfly, Sebastian Rose, you're going down. Rich Steve, this is the part where I'm supposed to tell you that a ripping man's head all cracked out of his neck, and it's cliche, much like your wardrobe. You sit there saying that I'm the past, he's the present, you're the future, that the business is doing. You say, I don't know when to give it up. Son, I don't need to give it up. I've had more gold around this waist than you've had donuts in that belly. That's a big ass belly you got there. Number two, I come up here and I gave these kids a little chit chat, tried to tell them to be good, stay in school, and all that other good stuff. You and the French fry you bring there decide that you want to jump me too. Well, I got something for you tonight. I went out and got me a tag team partner that I'm sure your man Corpus knows real well. So it doesn't matter what you bring, who you bring. Because I'm bringing the one-man weapon of mass destruction a very, very big surprise. That kid, who's this? Tommy Boy? Everybody shut up for a minute. This is the future of pro wrestling. Yo, the innovator yo. of innovation himself. Folks, Rich the Steve. kid is getting injected with Redolin. Okay, dial Everybody it Everybody shut up. Dial it down. Listen to Tommy Boy talk. Sucks. She's nothing like Rich Steve. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here we go. Down to a lounge. Future innovator. Hey, stop doubling Rich yourself. Steve. Rich Steve. You know I'm going to cut you out. Wait a minute. I the thought dead. the Living Dead. Did they get a place? The Living Dead was somebody else. Did we have some I, guy? Okay. What did you do? Listen, Explain folks. this, Rich Steve. Listen, Explain folks. this. When I was a little kid, I used to eat sandwiches, but I used to have my maid. Hey, the crust what, off what kind of sandwiches? Because sandwich? you know I like sandwiches. Well, this is the thing. When You're making me hungry. When it came to my sandwiches, I hate the crust. And the team of the Living Dead was very much like a sandwich. It had the bread. It had the corpse. It had. Whoa! The look cheese. at this kid. Look at this kid coming out all hard. Could you listen for a minute? No, 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 hold on. Talking. I know, but Rich Steve should shut up for a second. Look at the, look at these guys, man. You got this little skinny guy with the mask and this big dude looks like the crow. Well, anyway, I took my sandwich that wasn't living dead and I crushed the cut off and I threw it away. Cut you the crust off. The cut off. crust was, that crust was the Dark Angel. Who? The Dark 
Is your line was supposed to be exactly. Is that why I saw him packing his car in the parking lot? He was on his knees packing his bags and putting it in the car. I'm Whoa. Not sure if he was doing that, but he hey. Shh. Right. Hold on. Here she goes. She's announcing these challengers. Wait a minute. So my boys are fighting tonight. Old man winner and a guy who went on to high spots and now thinks he's a wrestler. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Here's, hold the, here's on. the thing. That's classic lineup right there. Yeah. Old versus new. Are. Old versus new. Present versus the past. It's present versus the past with the future outside. Yeah, well, the future should shut up because apparently he talks too much. The thing was, Sebastian Rose should be happy because this is the highest in a card he's ever been without getting squashed. Uh, here we go. It looks Whoa, like what's up with you guys? It looks like Sebastian Rosen Dragonfly that was pretty high, advantage Steve. Yeah, right away like, in the match. It was locked. Your guys they they cleared no, the no, ring. No, no. Sebastian no. Rose and Dragonfly cleared no. the ring. You see, the bell didn't even ring yet. They cheated. They came in. My guys weren't even ready for that. I, That's just bull. I right thought there. I heard a bell. Maybe it was the. Yeah, I don't know. I no, that was a bell. bunch of baloney. That's what that was. Uh, baloney? Are you talking about sandwiches again? Because you're still making me hungry. You well, see, shut up. You wish you were me. You wish you were rich, Steve. You wish you had the actually, money. You wish you had the no. You wish you, you were wish me. You had the girls. You wish you had what Rich Steve has. And that right there I is wish what I, I had I that have. guy's mask because that's pretty sexy. That's what I have. I have the best tag team in all of pro wrestling. Okay. I have hey, the living me, day. Okay, real question. Real question. If that's the best tag team, then what happened to the quote-unquote best tag team you had before? How come you had to replace the best tag team with the quote-unquote new best tag team? It doesn't matter. I just had to get rid of the crust. Actually, what? Look at that. Look. Oh, oh, oh. What happened there? Did your guy just screw something up with the other guy there? No, Dragonfly just sucks. That's what oh, I look. I think Dragonfly's hurt. leg is, like, exactly. done. KJ did that. KJ is the man. KJ... He's one of the best wrestlers on the scene today. Bring him in with Corpse, and they're just dominant. Add me into the mix, and it doesn't matter. I think we should subtract Split. you from the mix. Maybe we'll lose 300 pounds and gain some more One, money. Two. KJ choking out Dragonfly. I can use the rest of my money for some pizza for myself. Uh, look, folks, KJ's still, still working over. KJ still working over Dragonfly. Tag in the corpse. Oh, uh, look, look. Oh, look, God, look. sorry. Back to the match, people. Corpse. Corpse working over Dragonfly. Corpse just taking his ability. Corpse is a dog. Yo, corpse. shouldn't the ref stop that, Chris? It doesn't matter. Hey, I'm not talking to you. Come on, that's cheating right there. He can't bring him in. Uh, I think he's so. Dragonfly is not where he wants to be. He's in his opponent's corner. Exactly. That's a very bad spot, man. Look at him. He's like down under that. He's exactly. slumped down. They can now. They can, uh, when KJ gets tired, he can automatically tag in corpse. Look at that. corpse can work on the outside. Good strategy, but he's walking away. There. He's Look not keeping it up. He's not keeping I it up. This is, this is No, he's giving him rest. Yeah. He's giving yeah. him rest. But here's the problem. KJ and Course being a Look younger tag kid. team. Sebastian and Dragonfly. Uh, but you were smart right there, taking taking Sebastian out of the mix. Exactly. That's what a manager has to do. They have to look out for their men. Any opportunity That's for Dragon, Ultimo Dragon, Dragonfly. Oh, copyright infringement. Minutes. For him to go and tag out was taken away there. You know what a manager should do? Him. A manager like you should do? What? Maybe work on your face paint next time to try to look less like a raccoon. Just because I had the My Chemical Romance look going does not mean anything. Uh, folks at home, uh, if Steve is actually trying to quote something for real, they took that from Blade Runner. Thank you. Go rent it. Harrison Ford, Ridley Scott movie. Thank you. Very good 80s sci-fi uh, movie. And Corpse still working over Dragonfly, keeping him in their own corner. Wasn't that the strategy you said earlier? Actually, earlier I was the one who said divide the ring. You keep them in the No, opposite. no, I think Chris was talking about keeping them in the corner down and they can tag out and all this stuff. I think you were just screaming about how you're the future of pro wrestling. I am the future of pro wrestling. Then you should shut up. It doesn't matter. Look at this. My boys. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. What are your boys doing here? Arguing with the ref instead of keeping up with the guy here. My boys are, are just... 
dominating. You know what? I think if, I think I think no, I think said his earlier, knee. I, yeah. His knee's going to be the problem here in the match. I was just going to say that. I'm surprised I'm I'm surprised he's still going on. Hey, and the kick, he whoa, just loses his balance. Knee. You can't kick in pro wrestling. Hey, a hurt That's knee, and he just screwed up your guy. Look at him. Your guy's down. What do you, what do you call that, Rich Steve? You can't kick in pro wrestling. That's cheating. That's a super kick, isn't it? Yeah, you're not allowed to do that. Oh, come on. We saw Trent Acid do it earlier. Yeah, you're not allowed to do that. He, uh -huh. He's cheating. And Sebastian. Whoa, look. He's taking your guys down. This is what we show the experience from the age. He's coming in hard, he's coming in fast. And Dragonfly off the top rope with a hurt knee. See that? Hurt knee, still this. whooping butt. Whoa! Sebastian just hit me, that's cheating. What do you have? See, look he has at that. He's I don't cheating. see anything. What are he you talking about? And the ref doesn't see it. Cheat. He cheated. They, you know what, Chris? He the cheated. ref is distracted by Dragonfly tossing out the other guy. He it's cheated! He didn't cheat. The ref didn't, didn't see it. it. If the ref didn't see it, you didn't cheat. Am I right? Yeah. Exactly. You cheated! You all know it. Look at the fat kid breaking the ring. He and Dragonfly. Oh, Sebastian attacks Dragonfly. I wonder what that's the about. Chain. He hit him with the chain that he used to attack my boys. Because he's cheated. slimming the crust. Sebastian doesn't want to be a tag team anymore, it yeah, looks like. It doesn't matter. The point is... We should have won that match. That should have been the You know what? I think you should pull your pants up and wipe your makeup off because you look a little weird there, Steve. Look it. My boy is hurt. He cheated. Okay, Chris, that. why is his boy hurt? Because Sebastian came in and screwed him up. Huh. You Just wait till okay, September. Okay, you help. Uh, there you go. You're helping KJ out. I thought you were going to leave KJ behind. You should leave KJ behind. Just wait till shit. September 9th. I got a little surprise for Sebastian. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Keep talking. I'm the future of pro wrestling. You shouldn't disrespect me like that. Disrespect? You don't even have any respect. Earn disrespect, boy. Look at these people. Look at them. They're giving us our props. We are the three. Do most I not hear a pop? Pro. Hold on. I don't hear a pop. You're looking at the next ACPW champion. <laughs> That's right. Sinister X. Yeah, I'm the man who laid out Bob Steele last time. And this time. Don't even ask me why he's getting back in the ring with me. I'll tell you one thing, Steel. You better bring back up, because you're going to need it. Enough said. Our main event tonight is our triple threat match for the ACPW Heavyweight Championship. Folks, this is an amazing match. Bob Steele. He is our ACPW champion. Where is he? I he Where is Big Bob Steele? It's his music. Waiting. ACDC. TNT. Bob Steele uh, came out, won the ACPW uh, ACDC. title, defended it last show. Steve, who was it against? That last match was against... Sinister X. No, Sinister X was in a tag team. Uh, he was out against that oh, guy. Oh, was against Zach Connor in a yeah, three fight. That guy. There we go, Zach Connor. I think Zach Connor oh, was no. injured this show after Bob Steele. Oh, who's it? Nick oh, Burke. Bob Steele never came out to the Raw Superstar coming to the Raw. Raw, Raw Superstar, he smacked down. Smack Velocity, down. Heat. heat. Velocity, Raw, and even a yeah, WWE, WWE pay-per-view. Pay he is a WWE champion. He's a very big star. Uh, yo, yeah, he's not a champion, but he's a superstar. He's going to be a future WWE champion. And he is coming and to the ring with whoa, Oxy Cotton. Oxycontin. So I how, love Oxy so Cotton. How did ACPW get a WWE superstar? Yeah. Ask the owner uh, well, okay, that one. ask the owner this. How did we get some Oxy Cottons to the ring? I don't even know what you're talking about. She is very. Tantalizing, isn't now, she? would that be a valet or a manager, Rich Steve? I actually think she's a wrestler. But she's not wrestling. Uh, yeah, she's not wrestling today, but I think she is a wrestler. Okay, but what is she for Nick Burke? Steve? An escort. She, she's an es she's escorting Nick Burke to the ring. So that's so a she's valet. An, no, she's an escort. That's not a good proper term. 
Yeah, I think you're, yeah. uh... Steve, wake up. What? Uh, t sorry, I mean, uh, tantalizing. Yeah, so he was on a WWE pay-per-view. Nick Burke, he... Hold on, hold on. Oh, here we go. Nick Burke, as articulate as always. He didn't hear you, Steve. He said what? For many reasons. Number one, because you're retarded. Look at his ring room. You heard... Oh. I think I can't stop. Oh. I don't think anybody wants to. That's good strategy. It really would not surprise me if he did win the title here tonight. No, I agree with you. Uh oh. Whoa. Never seen Sinister X before, people. So then, his yeah, right. oh, he's a big, big dude. And Sinister X is over jacked. He is diesel. He's, he's a big, very scary, big dude. Steve, don't you uh, wish to be like that one day, like a real boy? Let's ask the Geppetto. Let's ask the Blue Fairy. For one wish, for Rich Steve, folks. Do you need If you clap hard enough, maybe he'll come to life. Okay, you do know I mixed up a bunch of old you know, stories there, so apparently you have no idea what I'm talking about. Go back to school, Rich Steve. I, I think Roxy's going to bend over. Okay. Okay, here comes Sinister X. Isn't that what he just said? Yep. Sorry. See, I think right now Nick Burke's going to be one of the smaller men in, this, uh, in the ring. Anybody in the ring with Sinister X is small. Even Gemini or Kwame would be small compared to this. Even animal. you would be small, Steve. Yeah, that was just low. So low, the prices are bottom, bottom low. Look, I've had a hard night tonight, okay? You don't have to go on. How hard? Very tough. Harder than Sinister X's tight, tight abs. Dude, that's a good one, because you know he's a massive, massive dude. I mean, Kwame's massive. Sinister X is freaking massive. Here he is. Whoa! Oh, there he is. Now, what did you say? Overly jacked? That yes. is overly jacked. See... A lot of a lot of uh, wrestlers look at, look like to focus bound. on the upper body. His legs too. He, he's worked out his legs. You can tell his calves, thighs, everything. He's a well-rounded athlete. All over, all over, bad, bad, mother, mother, dude. Look at that. Look at that body. Oh, big I, Bob Steele there! Attack out of nowhere. Oh. That's our ACPW champion. See right that? There. That's smart right there. Burke. Bob coming in, waiting for Sinister X. Doing a sneak attack at the last second. And Nick Burke not even getting involved. I guess that his strategy about, what was that, attacking him before the show or something he said? I guess that didn't work, huh? No, it did not. Nick and look Burke. at Burke. Look, he looks lost. Roxy Cotton. No, I think like Nick whatever. Burke is smart. Nick Burke is staying back. This is showing some, this look is him, showing Nick lost. Burke. Steve, am I right with that? Look at the, look at the expression. He just looks scared. Wouldn't you be if you were a man of Nick Burke's yeah. size against big? Oh, Whoa. there we go. The only way to take a big man down, poke to the eyes. Or the exactly. legs or the windpipe. Preferably the legs. I feel that would be the best idea because if you're going to go for the upper body where the windpipe and the head is, there is a chance you get caught by the arms. He's doing that now. He's putting them on the ropes. Exactly. And, and Roxy Cott is, is helping Nick Burke out. This is the good thing about having a manager of LI. You always have a second out there. We or saw escort, it tonight. whatever you guys said. We saw it with Pool Shark, and we saw it with... Whoa, whoa, what's Burke oh, doing? Myself. What's Burke doing? Isn't he trying to knock him out? No. Oh, and Nick Burke going over the top. Big yeah, that, that, was, that wasn't that bad, though. And Sinister X capitalizing. Yeah, he's choking him, too. Look at that. The ref's not doing jack. This is, those chokes are going to cause some damage over the rope. I mean, being choked by, your, by someone's arms is different from being choked by a rope. 
it's definitely a lot tighter and a lot like more precise. Yeah, but you also have to remember, look at Sinister X's arms. They're pretty tight. Themselves. Yeah, but when okay, Sinister okay. X puts you over the rope and chokes you, oh. yeah, versus his arm, because you know his arm is not just straight all the way around. The Nick Burke and Sinister X look like they the be forming a team. Oh, no. Oh. Roxy Cotton is getting, ah, uh, smart. No, she's not that hurt. Nick Burke's taking advantage of him. Now, look at Bob Steele. He went over the side or something? He went over his side, Steve. What the? I, heck? What's Burke doing? That I, was a little where weird. Did, where did Bob Steele go? He went over the side. The other side. He just disappeared. Towards the I'm DJ. Like, I'm hearing something right now. Like, there is some sort of problem. I think, I think the choking actually upset him. Like, uh, I think he caused He's bleeding in the back. inside. He's in the back? He has some I internal bleeding. He's in the back. And he... He won't be returning to this match. I just got word. I hope the doctor's checking him out. There is no word on his condition. He is bleeding internally. Must have been caused by Sinister X or Burke with the choking. And hey, he hey, hey, don't forget Roxy. That you know AC she was getting in on that. Once, you, once again, folks, the ACPW Heavyweight Champion is out. So either whoa, one of these whoa, men Steve. are now the new champion. Oh, my God. What was that? Oh, that was devastating. That's what that was. I don't even know what I would well, call that. I think I would call that a Kodak, Kodak moment. Ah, there we go. Burke knowing ring positioning. This is what Grab shows being, being in the WWE. This is why they were scouting him. He knows his ring positioning. Why don't you just sum that up with he's smart. He has great ring presence. Are you, are you a little tired? Are we boring you? No, I'm sorry. Because you know this match is pretty good. I know the folks at home are not hitting their fast forward button. The owner's smart. He put how many people together? He put three people together plus Roxy Cotton. Wow, you can count. That's okay. Whoa, whoa, what's Sinister X doing? Is he choking him? Oh, no, Sinister X is Burke. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What a flip. Whoa, Sunset whoa, flip. whoa, he's sitting on him. No. One, One two, two. Oh, with the legs, with the legs. Those well-toned legs. Nick Burke. Speaking what of Roxy, uh, I mean... Uh, what? Uh, you're saying well-toned legs. I thought you were talking about Roxy. Oh, God. Come on, Chris. Get your mind out of the gutter. Look at this match. The Raw Superstars. Is he choking him? He's dominating right What's now. He doing? No, he's standing on his hair. Nick Burke is standing on Sinister X's hair. Sinister X is down. Nick he Burke was asking going. for Bob Steele. Is that what he's saying? Pin. One and a one count only. Well, Sinister X Burke is probably going to get out of that. You sleeper know. holding Sinister X. He's choking him? It's a sleeper, actually. It's not a choke right there. Okay. But still working on uh, It's effective. Win. He's wearing him down. Effective. Wearing the big man down. Very effective. Sinister X trying to get the upper hand. Oh, my God. What a jawbreaker. How upper was that that he just knocked him down? That was a devastating jawbreaker. I will say that. One, One, two, two and Roxy almost. Oh, now Roxy Nick didn't Burke do Jack. Out. Roxy Nick didn't Burke do. Kicking out, but you yeah. saw Roxy she was, was going to. Over she just was in going case. to. One, ah, uh, but that's the thing with the manager and their client. They know. They know when the things are going to happen. Right? Was they that a boot? That two know. boots to the stomach or something? Irish whip coming in. Sister, oh my God, huge close on. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's Burke two. Burke. What? Oh my that was God. three. What was that? Burke. Burke not knowing where he is, he's probably like stunned. Is that Roger Roberts seeing stars? Because I think that's what you should call Nick Burke. Tweet, tweet, tweet. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sister X picking him up. Irish whip into the corner. What's he doing? Uh, What's he doing? Oh, oh, boot big. to the head. Boot to the cool. That oh, was an elbow or something? Elbow. Burke. Going. Scoop slam. Scoop slam by Sinister X. He looks hurt though. He looks hurt. Both men are done. Both men are down. This is it, this has just been a very Nick Burke giving up a lot of weight and size to Sinister X. It's been a hard fought match. It's been a while. Different body type, different body mass. Would you call this the same thing with the fly and the cat scenario again? It's a little different, but definitely he's not 
as big as Sinister Rex, but it, it's not See, a flying cat. I think Nick Burke is the veteran here. You know what it looks like, Steve? Looks like Tom and Jerry. I understand. You know what I mean? I, height wise, I think they're about equal. Nah, Sinister but X is pretty tall. No, nah, look, they're about equal, but no, 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 no. Nick, Nick, Nick Burke is, is over Jack. No, nah, he's Nick Burke's got high heels on. Boot. You can't see it, but he's got high heels on. He just he looks tall. Sex. Cause see the camera's real low, it makes him look taller. Oh, what's oh he's, got he's, got Roxy. he's got Oxy's. Roxy, roll up. One, what's the difference? Two. Kicked out by Sinister Only X. two, Steve. Come they on. Both taste good. You look at Nick Burke and look at Sinister X. You can't get three on that man. You, you can't, can't get three. You cannot. Sinister X is too big, and Nick Burke is just, I don't know. He has more What? What would you th What would you say, Reversal? Steve, that he's going to have to do? To oh, oh, my what God. What the hell was that? Steve, what would you say Nick Burke's got to do to get Sinister X down? He's gonna All right, here we go. One, two, see. Out. No, see? see? The he's going to have to work the legs. He's going to have to work him down until he can't even Actually, work. that just showed you something. Sinister, uh, Nick Burke has a lot more writing presence than Sin uh, Sinister X. That's Sinister the WWE. X was right near the ropes. He could have put his leg on the ropes, broke the count. What's he doing here? He's letting them. To win this, it might be smart for But Nick he just caught him. Look. Oh, my God. Holy crap. What a brain buster like maneuver. One, One two, two, three, three and what? it's over. And Whoa. There's a new ACPW heavyweight champion, Sinister X. Roxy does not look happy. She's arguing with that kid. What he could have done was try to get Roxy involved more, but unfortunately he didn't. And now here is your it new champion, him. your new champion, Sinister X. Folks, yo, he cost it. It cost him. He did not involve his manager, valet, and whatever she it is. It cost him. And now, folks, look at your new ACPW heavyweight Pin. champion, Sinister X. Look at that pose. Look, look at that pose. Look at that pose. Massive, massive dude. Folks, for all of ACPW, I'm Rich Steve with Chris and Chris and AB Monroe. Monroe. For everyone, I hope you had a great time. We know you, we know we did. We'll see you on the next September 9th. Yeah. September 9th.